I was going to the bathroom and I passed out and hid my head on the floor. Happy September 3rd. It is Sunday. Don't mind my hair. I took a shower last night, so going to bed with wet hair and not blow drying it, I wake up with like fuzz. Today we are visiting some friends, and it's already really hot. It's about noon, and it's 97 degrees. And what's the high today? I don't know. It was Easily over a hundred. Yeah. Yesterday's vlog is almost done uploading. And I have to hook up to my bolus. And we might go to like Walgreens or something. And then at three we're heading over to the friend's house. Anything to say to the vlog? Uh tired from yesterday? Yeah. But did you get good sleep? Pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Too. It was fine, except for being woken up by. I got carpet. okay sleep, but we had two bugs in here last night, so I was freaking out, like thinking that there was gonna be like bugs in my sheets or something. So far, no more crickets or spiders, but we are in like desert territory, so I can't say that it's like just the hotel's fault. It's very possible that they just made their way in here since that's where we are, but. After that, I fell asleep okay. Then I woke up at 3 because I had to pee. I think not having lipids in my TPN makes my kidney filter it faster, so I end up having to pee more from it than than uh, with the lipids in it. But we'll see because tonight I'm running lipids. So talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, we are picking up mom's lunch and then going to Walgreens and then we're heading over to the our friend's house and my hair is still a mess even though I brushed it I swear I brushed it I don't know what to do with my hair these were all baby hairs and when I was like nine it didn't used to be this way and when I was like nine I got this hair stuck in a spinner what happened? Do you remember? I got my this this oh, part yeah. stuck in a spinner and we had to cut it out and it just hasn't ever grown back. And I'm really self-conscious about it. <laughs> <laughs> Mom just took out a second saline and I have my first bolus running and my TPN running because my sugar got low and it's pretty scary. I was being a little argumentative with my mom and then afterwards once I hooked up and my, got my sugar back up I realized because my sugar was low, so let's go do this. All right, we picked up lunch for mom. Was it good? It was great. She got a fried chicken sandwich, and then we just went to Walgreens to pick up birth, um, a thank you card, well, a card for somebody, and then um, a present and stuff like that. And now we're headed out to our friend's house, and this should be fun. And I just looked down and I'm draining a little bit of dry blood. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's blood. Uh oh. I've had a couple GI bleeds, so sometimes I'll have a small one and I won't even notice it because it'll be done by the time I wake up. And then I'll just drain some dried blood. Well, not dried blood, but um, like old blood over the next couple days. So I'll just keep an eye on it. It is raining even though it is sunny out. I don't know if you guys can see that. Completely, I mean there are clouds, but it's pretty sunny out and it's raining. And so for like five minutes it got down to 96 and now it's back up to 102. I'm not used to this weather, so I'm in a t-shirt and jeans. Cause it's just too hot. Agreed? Agreed. <laughs> I don't know how people do it. <laughs> we were 
were watching my vlogs this morning and realized she doesn't really like being in the camera, so when she, when she is in the camera, she's like, yeah, good. And that's all she does. Look at that, beautiful. It's been completely flat, and then all you see are like mountains in the background. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Still raining. I just don't get how it can be sunny and rain. I haven't seen that since I was in Hawaii. September 4th, it is Labor Day and Monday. I wasn't up for vlogging at all yesterday after we visited the friends, but it was a great time, I had a lot of fun, and then I came home, came back to the hotel and was going to the bathroom, and I passed out and hid my head on the floor. Hurt um, a couple of my joints, so I was just not up for it. Got a call at 2 a.m. to go to the ER, so it's been a little hectic. If I'm feeling up for it, I will vlog later today. If not, I will really try and vlog for the conference. And uh, I love you guys. Well, we saw my family. I got to see my baby cousin. She's adorable. It's my first time meeting her. And now we are off. We got to the hotel, had some problems with the smoke and stuff. Ended up in a larger branch and with my throat itching and feeling tight, so that was no good. Dosed with Benadryl. Now we're off to the ER again because of my concussion. So, I will try and update, but I think I'll make this into a three day vlog Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And after that, do daily. So, if I can't update, I will. If I can't, talk to you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, happy Tuesday, August. September 5th. We got back from the ER at about 1 in the morning. I don't have a hemorrhage, so that's really good. Just a moderate concussion. And the pressure will just take... It's time to go down. So I just have to dose up on acetaminophen suppositories and extra fluids, lots of rest, stuff like that. So... I'm taking these days before the conference to do that. And uh, my hip, we got an x-ray of. It was not out of place anymore, but it was significantly inflamed because it dislocated. So that's my hip problem. And then my wrist also, dis uh, something, something in my wrist popped. I don't know if it was my actual wrist or not, but, um, and it dislocated, so. And, I have had dislocations since I was really little, so I know the difference between subluxations and dislocations. And the hip was definitely dislocation. It was my first ever full hip dislocation. I've had a couple subluxations of my hip. Well, more than a couple, but never a dislocation, so it, that's why it's been so painful for me. My wrist and my thumb and other joints like my shoulders dislocate every day, without question. So, resting is going to be my treatment, but we are back at the hotel. I'll show you the room because it's pretty nice. There's a little hallway right there, maybe 10 feet to the door. You walk in and then there's a TV and like some more space over there. And then these beautiful windows with um, lounging. And it overlooks the link, which is like the London Eye of Las Vegas. Here's the bed, obviously, and then over here we have a whirlpool, the bathroom, and two sinks and two closets. So it's a pretty nice room. The conference starts the day after tomorrow, and I'm trying to decide um, if I'll need to have my grandma go the first day because I need to take it easy or what we'll do. My mom's grabbing me a toothbrush right now because I forgot mine at the last hotel. But overall, today's just been tough, and my head's really bothering me, so that's frustrating. We got a call. A call actually woke me up from my neuro GI's office saying, we have an opening, and our appointment wasn't scheduled to de till December, but she said, if you can be here the day after we get back, obviously, because of course it's going to be while well I'm exhausted, then this appointment's yours. So we took it, and we'll just have to figure out how I'll do that. But we really have to see her, and I'm, I'm sure at the end of the appointment, the 
decision will be like asked to me so and like when we schedule it and all that all right so today was a long day we i took a bath i just rested and now i have both my braces on my wrist brace we're putting on since my joints are not happy but I'm gonna get to bed and start a new vlog for tomorrow. Talk to you guys tomorrow when my grandma and Amy fly in. And with that I'll say see ya. Bye.